Hello traders, FS Pepclata here. Today is Monday, August 28th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the dollar Canadian, I like I've been saying, I still think this looks like impulsive down, but then we made three waves up, three waves down. Usually that does lead to another three-way pattern to the upside, so we'll see what happens, but I think at least we're going to make a move up that should at least take out this high before we do end up really continuing the downtrend. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can see what it looks like. Impulsive down, three waves up, and then one, two, three, four, five down. Impulsive up with a break of structure tells me that this probably is the end of an ABC crutch, and then this probably is going to at least go up and take out these highs before we get the continuation of the downtrend. So let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, the fact that these waves are so overlapping also makes me very confident that this is a wave C because trends within a Kretzen are very often very overlapping. I do think that this trend is not over. I wouldn't be surprised if we had some pullbacks along the way, but I definitely do not see any break of such into the downside. I definitely don't see any Fibonacci bounce telling me that I am for sure going to continue to look for longs on shorter time frames. So going down to the 4-hour time frame, on the 4-hour time frame, really our last break of structure or our last major structure level is way down here. So unless price goes down and breaks this structure, I am definitely still looking for longs in an uptrend. I'm looking for pullbacks, especially three-way pullbacks on shorter time frames to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. At least until we get a significant break of structure, I'm definitely going to prim primarily only be looking for longs on shorter time frames. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour, it definitely looks like we already got an ABC. It looks like one down, corrective up, down again, right two to 78%, nice impulsive up. If that really is the end of a cuts, and then this will end up continuing the uptrend. Now, today is a bank holiday in the UK, and it is Monday, so I do have some doubts about this being a true end of a cuts. And I wouldn't be surprised if it did go down a little bit more before it actually does end up going back up. But if this really is the end of a cuts, and this will continue to make higher highs, higher lows. So if I see any opportunities on sort of time frames to go long, I'm definitely going to take those for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.